Hey guys, welcome to our love reading for Scorpio. This is going to be for the first half of your May from the 1st to the 15th. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what is going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see... Uh, what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, uh, Scorpio people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, tell me about Scorpio. What is going on with Scorpio in love? What is going on with Scorpio in love for um, the first half of May 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Scorpio. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. We have the Six of Swords and a Death card here, Scorpio Energy, okay? Seems like you're moving on from something here, Scorpio. Something ended here with somebody that you felt like you were wasting your time with this person because I feel like you sat around waiting for this person here. Three of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you sat around waiting for someone here to commit to you or something like that or come back to you. Uh, but I feel like you you came to a realization that there is a situation here that is not meant to come back together. And I feel like you're trusting your guides and your angels and your ancestors on this when it comes to this. You know, I feel like you're finding some sort of closure here or that you're making peace with the situation here that you know that it's not going to work out. So I feel like a lot of guys right now are focusing on your healing here, okay? With the seven of, uh, with the temperance card and the star card here, the seven of wands and the tower here, you know, I feel like you guys are trying to rebuild yourself. You guys are going through some sort of st huge spiritual awakening. Some major changes, some major shifts are happening here for you guys right now at this time. I feel like you had to end something here in order for you to awaken to this or that some of you could be awakening to the fact that you guys belong together. Okay, so it could be some sort of like soulmate awakening sort of thing or a twin flame awakening. Let's see, tell me about the uh, three of wands. We have the nine of pentacles here. You're turning your back on a situation here. I feel like you waited. I feel like you feel, I feel like you waited long enough for this individual here. You know, by the time that you waited, you know, I feel like you went to this, you went through this like major glow up here. Uh, we have the empress here, Libra Taurus. We have the six of swords. And the Eight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you didn't want to be stuck. You didn't want to be waiting, waiting around for this person anymore. Okay. What else do we have here for Scorpio? What does the Scorpio need to know? Tell me about Scorpio's person. Their true feelings and intentions towards Scorpio for um, the first half of May. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Scorpio. We have the King of Cups. Scorpio energy. Could be dealing with another Scorpio here with a devil. Capricorn energy. The Three of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune with the Nine of Swords, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I do feel like someone here is going, I feel like your person is going through an, an awakening here too. Now, if this person is a codependent. This person has like bad behavior here. I do feel like this person is definitely trying to release this energy here. I feel like they do want to work things out here with you too. Uh, tell me about the King of Cups here. I do feel like that also this person's in love with you. Yeah, I feel like this person's going through some sort of awakening. Like I said, this could be some sort of soulmate or twin flame. I'm feeling like more soulmate here with the Two of Swords and the Devil here with the Three of Pentacles here and the Four of Swords. So I feel like this person's definitely trying to release some sort of 
behavioral issues that this person has that's affecting this relationship here too. Uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune here and the Page of Wands, Aries, Little Sagittarius energy. It could be a situation that this person's connecting with their inner child and healing their inner child and releasing that inner child here. You have the Nine of Swords here and the Knight of Wands, Aries, Little Sagittarius energy and the King of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Well, Three of Swords. This person's going through a lot, I feel. There is definitely some sort of bond that you guys have. Like I said, this could be a soulmate connection. What else do we have here for Scorpio? What does the Scorpio need to know, look out for, work on for uh, uh, the first half of their May 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs when it comes to this love connection with the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. With I think we have the King. Yeah, we have the King. We have the King to Queen of Cups here. Of the ace of pentacles so someone here is definitely looking for some sort of new beginning here someone here is going through some sort of major release and they feel like this person is trying to do everything that they can to win you back with the high priestess here cancer pisces you know another thing i'm getting here uh scorpio is that it could be a situation that you're doing everything that you can to put yourself first you're doing everything that you can to sort of like protect yourself and protect your energies here. And I feel like moving forward, you're trusting your intuition, whether this is right for you. And I feel like a lot of you guys could be walking away from this person here. We have the Queen of Cups here and it's, yeah, you're dropping this person like a hot potato here, Cancer. Not Cancer, Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Cancer here. The Ace of Pentacles here and the Eight of Wands. You're definitely receiving communication from this person and wanting to work things out here with you, okay? I, I do feel like this awakening that you went through, it kind of like is rubbing off on this individual here too. There is some sort of energy that you are radiating here, Scorpio, where I feel like this person feels things here also. You know, this awakening is leading f for this person to have this realization, you know, that, you know, they're going through some sort of soulmate awakening here. This person does want to approach you to tell you and let you know that they love you here. This person has a lot to say. This person has a lot to share with you. And I feel like this person does want to clear the air here. Any sort of confusion, any sort of confusion here that this person has shown you, this person wants to tell you how they feel. They want to clear things up here with you. You know, I feel like this person... You know, when it comes to like soulmate and twin flames, maybe this person didn't didn't believe that. You know, perhaps the universe, their guides and their angels and their ancestors are showing them signs of it. You know, you know, is showing that you know you can't find your other half here. Um, so I feel like this person's definitely seeing the signs here, or that this person, it, you know, I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person's really skeptical about connections here. You know, spiritual connections and spirituality here and healing, and I feel like this person's realizing that there is something to this. So Okay. Like I said, I feel like this person's going through some sort of uh, soulmate awakening. So, um, Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.